Hi boys and girls, Mrs. Barbera here with another read aloud. Today's story is one of my favorites, it's a New York Times bestseller. And permission for this read aloud is granted by Random House. It's called, not Snoopy, but Grumpy Monkey by Suzanne Lang, illustrated by Max Lang. Hmm, let's make a prediction based on the title and the cover. Uh, who do we think the main character is? How are they feeling? Hmm. Grumpy monkey. I know it's totally normal to feel grumpy sometimes. Hmm. Let me take the book jacket off. It looks exactly the same on the inside. All right. See a banana? Grumpy monkey. One wonderful day, Jim Panzee woke up to discover that nothing was right. Get it? His name is Jim Panzi, like chimpanzee. <laughs> Let's see as we read the book Grumpy Monkey if you've ever felt like a grumpy monkey. I know I have a connection. Sometimes I feel like a grumpy monkey, and that's okay. The sun was too bright. The sky was too blue. The bananas were too sweet. Jim was confused. What's going on? Maybe you're grumpy, suggested Norman from next door. I'm not grumpy, Jim insisted. On his walk, he met Marabou. Jim's grumpy, Norman told Marabou. Why are you grumpy, Jim? asked Marabou. It's such a wonderful day. Grumpy? Me? I'm not grumpy, said Jim. But look how you're standing, Marabou said. It's true, said Norman. You're all hunched. So Jim loosened up. Why don't you check your posture now? Are you sitting up straight? Are you lying down straight? Or are you all hunched over too? Then he ran into Lemur. Jim's grumpy, Norman told Lemur. Why are you jumpy, gr why are you grumpy, Jim? Asked Lemur. It's such a wonderful day. Grumpy? Me? I'm not grumpy, said Jim. Your eyebrows look grumpy said Lemur. It's true, said Norman. It's all, they're all bunched up. So Jim raised his brow. Then he tripped over a snake. Oh no, said Norman. That's the last thing you need when you're feeling grumpy. Grumpy, me, I'm not grumpy, said Jim. Then why that frown, said Snake. I think it's because he tripped over you. Norman whispered to Snake. So Jim put on a smile. Do we think that's a real smile? Looks like a fake smile to me. Finally, Jim looked happy, but he didn't feel happy inside. Do you ever feel like that? That maybe on the outside you look like everything's okay and you're happy, but the inside something's really bothering you? Yes, me too. It's good to let out your feelings with family and friends. Everyone wanted Jim to enjoy this wonderful day. You should sing with us, said the birds. Jim didn't feel like singing. <laughs> Look at him. <laughs> you should swing with us, said the monkeys. Jim didn't feel like swinging. You should roll with us, said the zebras. Jim didn't feel like rolling. You should stroll with us, said the peacocks. Jim didn't feel like strolling. <laughs> Look at Norman. <laughs> you should lie in the grass. You should stomp your feet. You should take a bath and make a splash. You should hug someone. You should laugh. You should take a nap. You should eat old meat or some honey. You should jump up and down. You should sit in the sun. You should dance. But Jim didn't feel like doing any of that. Why are you grumpy, Jim? Asked the others. It's such a wonderful day. I'm not grumpy, shouted Jim as he beat his chest. Ooh, you ever felt like this? So angry and so grumpy that you just explode. And he stormed off. There he goes. 
Jim felt sorry. A little sorry for shouting at everyone, but mostly sorry for himself. I guess I am grumpy, Jim sighed. <sighs> and just when he was starting to feel really sad, he came upon Norman. Norman was slumped. His eyebrows were bunched up, and he was frowning. What's the matter? Are you grumpy? asked Jim. No. I danced with Porcupine, said Norman. <laughs> oh no, he got quills stuck to him. Are you okay? asked Jim. It hurts, but I'll probably feel better soon enough, said Norman. Are you still grumpy? Yes, said Jim, but I'll probably feel better soon enough too. For now, I need to be grumpy. It's a wonderful day to be grumpy, said Norman. Jim agreed. And he already felt a little bit better. The end. Well, I hope you guys liked Grumpy Monkey. And I hope you're having a good day. Read, 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 and be kind.